We're going to be looking at solving logarithm equations and inequalities. Our first method is similar to one of the methods we've already used with e e exponents. If we had 2 to the 5x equals 2 to the 10, we were able to take our exponents and set them equal to each other because our bases are the same, so 5x has to equal 10. That was called equating our exponents in a one-to-one -one situation. Well, here we also have one-to-one -one with our logs. So this method is effective when we have a log equal to a log. Nothing else is being added or subtracted around it, multiplied, nothing. So we have a log equal to a log. We can use this method. So we have that the log base 4 of x squared equals the log base 4 of negative 2x plus 8. And the log base 4 has to be the same. It can't be log 4 and log 5 because then it's, you can't equate them. So here we can say that x squared must equal negative 2x plus 8. And I get x squared plus 2x by adding the 2x to both sides and subtracting the 8 from both sides. Minus, or plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. And then we should know by now, if we have an x squared and an x and a constant, we need to factor. So this is x plus 4, and x minus 2 equals 0. And x equals negative 4 and positive 2. Now because a log has a domain restriction of b, this has to be greater than 0. So what's inside the log has to be greater than zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our answers and see which ones work. Negative four squared, is that greater than zero? 16, greater than zero, yes. Negative two x, so our x is negative four. Negative two times negative four plus eight is eight plus eight greater than zero, yes. And if you see that we have that means the log 4 of 16 equals the log 4 of 16. So that one worked. Let's look at the negative 2, or the positive 2. 2 squared is greater than 0. Yes. Negative 2 times 2 plus 8 is greater than 0. We have negative 4 plus 8. 4 is greater than 0. Yes. So both of our answers work here. Negative 4 and positive 2. So we're going to have to look at that on every equation, even if it's not a square or anything. At any point in time, you can end up with extraneous solutions. So let's look at the next problem. I suggest you pause it, solve it, and then unpause it and come see what you got. So I have log base 7 and log base 7. So I can say that 2x plus 1 equals x minus 4. And I'm going to subtract my x. 2x plus 1 equals negative 4. Oops. Wow, I made a mistake there. x plus 1 equals negative 4. And then minus 1, x equals negative 5. So let's see what happens when we plug that in. It, and extraneous solutions can happen at any time. So if I look real quick, negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. And 2 times negative 5 plus 1 is negative 10 plus 1, negative 9. So although what's inside the log is equal, the log is undefined. So 5 is not a solution. Negative 5 is not a solution. Let's look at some inequalities. Again, the domain restriction is really important here because we have to put it on there. Um, we have to put it as part of our solution usually. So um, I need to change this problem to a plus 7. So change that to a plus 7, and we have natural log of 7x minus 1 is less than or equal to the natural log of 3x plus 7. So natural log and natural log, bases are the same. So I can say that 7x minus 1 is less than or equal to 3x plus 7. And we can subtract 3x and add 1. So we get 4x is less than or equal to 8, so x is less than or equal to 2. But the x can't keep going in a negative direction because there's a domain restriction, and we know that what's in here can't ever be negative. 
So we need to find out where it has to stop. So let's figure out where this is um, undefined. So we know that, let's do this in red, 7x minus 1 has to be greater than 0. And we know that 3x plus 7 has to be greater than 0. So when I add 1, 7x is greater than 1. x is greater than 1 seventh at minus 7. 3x is greater than negative 7, so x has to be greater than negative 3 sevenths. So if we're looking at our number, our solution that we got here, x is, um, so we have x is less than or equal to 2, but x has to be greater than 1 seventh and greater than 3 sevenths. So which number does it hit first? If we are going from negative 2 on a number line down, less than, we're going to hit negative 1 seventh first. So that is going to be our domain restriction on the other side of our inequality, 1 seventh, 1 seventh, let me write that nicer, is less than x, not less than or equal to, because it can't equal 1 seventh, because then it would equal 0 and then it's less than or equal to two. So that there is our full solution. We don't have to worry about the negative three sevenths because it's less than, neg it's less than positive one seventh. So this is the, the, the one that if you keep going on the number line, you're gonna hit first. And so that's the one you're gonna include in your answer. Let's look at example four. 4x minus 20 is greater than, or the log of 4x minus 20 is greater than the log of 2x plus 6. Again, I suggest you pause it, do the problem, and then come back and watch my solution. So we have log base 10. Log base 10, remember if it's not written, it's base 10. 4x minus 20 is greater than 2x plus 6. And minus 2x and add 20. So 2x is greater than 26, divide by 2, and x is greater than 13. So all we have to do is make sure that our domain restrictions for each of the logs is not greater than 13, and then that could be our final answer. So if I look at 4x minus 20, let's do that in red. Okay, so real quick, 4x minus 20 has to be greater than 0. So 4x has to be greater than 20. x is greater than 5. We're okay on that one. 2x plus 6 greater than 0. 2x greater than negative 6. x greater than negative 3. So we're okay. And x is greater than 13. Our second method is when we use our quiz quiz trait information, rewrite the log in exponential form to solve the equation. So we, we use this method when we have a log equal to just a number, so we can rewrite it as an exponent. So let's write that in there, a log equal to a number. So we have the log base 3 of 2x minus 5 equals 2. So we're going to rewrite this as a log. And I'm going to practice keeping my x on the same side of the equal sign. That's going to help us once we get to the inequalities in the next example. So um, this would be, the base would be 3 squared, right? 3 squared equals the 2x minus 5. So I'm going to equal the 2x minus 5 there. So I keep my variables on the same side. Now 3 squared is 9 equals 2x minus 5. And then add 5, 2x equals 14, so x is 7. And let's plug it in to make sure it works. When I plug in 7, I get 2 times 7 is 14. 14 minus 5 is 9, and the log base 3 of 9 is 2, so that checked out. Another slightly harder one, because we don't necessarily... We, we often forget that ln is the log base e. Okay, that's something we just have to memorize, that ln is log base e, and log with no base is base 10. So here I have log base e, so I'm going to rewrite it. Um, um, we have to remember that this is not in parentheses. Therefore, this 5 is not inside the log. So we have to subtract it first. 
So I get the natural log of 3x equals 6. Now I can rewrite the log. e to the 6th equals 3x. And right now we're not going to get a decimal approximation. We're just going to divide by 3. You could if you wanted. You can use the e to the 6th button, but we really want your answer written in exact form, e to the 6th over 3. Because a lot of times you'll see on um, SATs and CASP testing where they don't have a calculator for some of them, that they'll write the answer in this form. So you need to be familiar with that as well. But then if you're in your calculator, you're going to do e to the 6th power. E is second LN button, and then divide that answer by 3. Okay, let's look at one more. We have log base 10. Remember, it's not written, so we assume it. it we don't assume. We know it's a 10. But I have to get the log by itself here. This is inside the log. This is not, so I'm going to divide by 12. And I get 3 equals the log of x plus 4. Log base 10 is 10 cubed to base to the exponent. So 10 cubed equals x plus 4. And remember, I'm just trying to keep my x on the same side of the equal sign. And 10 cubed plus 4 is a, or minus 4 is 1,000 minus 4, which is 996 equals your x. And again, we should probably make sure that works. 996 plus 4 is 1,000. The log of 1,000 is 3. 3 times 12 is 36. That worked. Let's see over here. Well, that one's kind of harder. But if we look at it, we take 3 times e to the 6th. Let's check this one and show, show you how it works. 3 times e to the 6th over 3 plus 5 equals 11. The 3 cancels there, so you have the ln of e to the 6th plus 5 equals 11. ln of e to the 6th is 6. Because the ln and the e are inverses, they cancel, and 6 plus 5 equals 11. So it works. Our next method is called exponentiation. This method can be used in lieu of the rewriting. Now, if you notice, this equation is the same as this equation because or inequality. Because I want to show you that you can use both the method we just used, rewriting it as a log, or rewriting it, the log as an exponent. As long as we keep the y on the same side, we'll be in good shape. Or we could do what's called exponentiation. So this can also be used when we have the log uh, mostly greater than or less than uh, a number. So inequalities, it's really helpful for because it keeps um, the va variables in the right place so you don't have to worry about switching your inequality. So exponentiation means raising both sides as exponents. So if I have a log base 6, I'm actually going to make this 6 to the log 6 of 2y plus 8 is greater than or equal to 6 squared. So the 6 log 6 of 2y plus 8, we looked at that the other day and saw that that was equal to 2y plus 8. So we have that 2y plus 8 is greater than or equal to 6 squared is 36. And minus 8, 2y is greater than or equal to 28 divided by 2. And y is greater than or equal to 14. And again, we have to look at our domain restrictions because of uh, the log having uh, not being able to have this number be less than or equal to 0. So if I put that in, I put 14. 14 times 2 is 28 plus 8, 36. So we're good. That's We're not going to get a negative in there. So it's okay. Anything greater than 14 will also be negative. We can also say 2y plus 8 has to be greater than 0. 2y has to be greater than negative 4. Or I'm sorry, negative 8. I got ahead of myself. Did the division already. Negative 8. So y is greater than negative 4. And it is greater than negative 4. So it's okay to just say greater than or equal to 14. 
Okay, so let's look at the same exact problem in the way we did it in the last one, where we instead uh, rewrite. In the same equation, we're going to make sure we have to keep our variable on the same side of the inequality so that we don't have to switch that inequality sign. So this is my base, and this is my exponent. So it's 6 squared, and then 2y plus 8 is greater than or equal to 6 squared, 2y plus 8 greater than or equal to 36, and you can see I get the same exact equation. So we can use either method. When we use the rewriting method, we have to just make sure that y stays on the same side of the inequality or x stays on the same side of the inequality. So let's look at another example. This is a less than example. The less than examples are a little bit more important when it comes to determining if there's extraneous or putting a lower bound on your answer. So log of 3x minus 5 has to be less than 1. So log, what's the base of log? It's base 10. So we're going to write this as 10 to the log 3x minus 5 in parentheses is less than 10 to the 1 power. 10 to the log of 3x minus 5 is just 3x minus 5 less than 10. Now I can solve. Add the 5. 3x is less than 15. Divide by 3. x is less than 5. Now we have to look at our domain restrictions. 3x minus 5 has to be greater than 0. So if I add 5, we get 3x is greater than 5, so x is greater than 5 thirds. So because 5 thirds is less than 5, I have to put that on as part of my answer. 5 thirds is less than x, is less than 5, and that's my final answer. Now if we're looking at it doing the same method, I'm not going to solve the whole equation, but you'll see that if I just rewrite the log, this is base 10, Here's my exponent, so 10 to the 1, oops, no equal to, and 3x minus 5. I end up with the same equation that I got over here. So you just have to make sure you keep your variable on the same side. All right, so if we're going to exponentiate it, it's 4 to the log 4 of x is greater than 4 to the 3 halves power. 4 log 4x is just x greater than 4 to the 3 halves is the square root of 4 cubed. That's 2 cubed, which is 8. 8 is greater than 0 because x has to be greater than 0. So again, same problem, different method. If I'm rewriting it as a log, x, that's a weird x, is greater than or equal to 4 to the 3 halves power. Um, these should be greater than or equal to so x is greater than or equal to 8.